Here we go. Got an F-22 off in front of us. A lot of people asking if uh, you'd even be able to lock it up. Um, I seen a video with a Eurofighter dogfighting an F-22 in real life and it seems to be able to lock it up. So I think that at close ranges you can still lock up the F-22, but chances are if it's a real fight you're going to be dead long before it gets into that kind of range. Alright, there's the merge. And so he's chosen to go vertical. Um, as he comes down on me, I'm going to pull my nose up and try to follow him and turn into him. Because I don't want him to have a clear shot at my six here. I'm going to have to pull really hard on the stick here because i got to loop around. I don't have a lot of energy. I'm going to start getting that nose down. There he goes underneath me. I'm going to use rudder to just kind of lob myself over. There we go. Okay, we're going to use a vertical scan here, and we're pretty much on a 6, so I don't think I can maintain it though. See, look at this, I just can't get the nose up. Now this F-22 looks like he's a little cocky. Oh my god, look at that turn. Jesus. Um, he kind of seems like he's playing around a little bit, if I'm being honest. Maybe not quite taking this very seriously. Let's see if we can make him pay for that. Okay, I still got a decent amount of energy here. If I can just loop us around. Get that vertical, there we go. There's that overconfident flare drop, I'm trying to flex on me. Okay, now, he looks like he's just trying to, he's trying to say like, hey, take a shot if you think you can hit me, and I'm gonna. Here we go, look at this, plenty of speed, I got lots of speed, I'm going to get that pipper on him. Guns, guns, guns. Hey, there we go. I can't believe I actually killed an F-22. I don't really think he was trying though, but he was having fun and he paid for it. Okay, so here we go on round two. He's dropping a couple flares there, probably just a test. And there's the merge. And looks like we're going into uh, a two circle again. Just going to put my nose down and get a little bit of energy back. As he comes across here, I think I'll be able to get a couple of rounds off at him. Here we go.
Look at that. Left engine fire. Nice. I think we might win this still. Holy shit. He's coming back. He doesn't even need that engine. Look at this. Look at this. Oh shit, I'm way low on speed. Oh my god. What? Alright, here we go, third and final fight. These fights are usually not that long when it comes to the F-22. If he's actually trying, this is a really quick fight. They end up really killing you quickly. But uh, here we go, I think he's pissed off this round though. And there we go, there's the merge. Again, we're going into a two circle here. And yeah, he's definitely pissed off this time. You can see him really pulling on the stick. He's making all kinds of tight turns that I can't do. Yeah, he's coming around on my six here. I can't turn with him. Oof. Got lucky there. Wouldn't have been able to pull my nose around. Okay, I'm just gonna put my nose down, get some energy back. Five sixty, that means I'm turning rather large but uh, I'm hoping that a large energy state might be able to help me out here as he pulls up on my six I might try to go vertical or something like that okay here he comes uh, he's gonna cross over he's gonna have a split second opportunity to get a snapshot off um, because of my high energy state he might not be able to and there you go no reaction time he missed his shot or he chose not to take it, I don't know. To me it looked like he had a couple seconds to react and he didn't. And now he's on my six and I'm low and low on speed and this is how I'm gonna die. Yep, there it goes. Wonderful. <laughs> Good kill. Okay guys, here we go. We got uh, Tack in the F-22 here, me in the F-18, and uh, we're just going to do a quick Tack TAC view review here. Um, Tack is going to go vertical, which is going to bleed off a lot of his airspeed. Um, I'm staying down here. I'm going to follow him up because I'm going to turn into him, and I only have to go vertical to turn into him. That's the only way, and I'm doing that to create problems for him. If I just kept going straight, he would just come right down on my six, right? 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to create problems for him. Doing that means I'm going to lose a tremendous amount of speed. So I'm down to a true air speed of 143, which means I got to loop this around real quick. Attack is going to go underneath me. He's got a decent amount of speed now as he kind of came down. And so you can see that I'm, I'm trying to level this turn out really quick because I can't climb anymore. If I keep climbing, I'm going to stall. And as he goes underneath me, I'm just going to use a rudder and I'm going to fly, flop myself over onto the side and try to come back down. We're at a true speed of 260-ish, uh, 270-ish, and I'm sitting on a 6 here. Now, I think he's a little too confident in the F-22 in this fight. Um, he's just kind of goofing off a little bit. And I think that's what really uh, gives me the ability to maybe to get the kill here. You can see, like, right here, he's almost got a frontal profile. Like, right here. This to me looks like a kill shot. You know, he could have snapshot it across. He had a fraction of a second to really do it, but he could have. But uh, he's gonna go for the six o'clock fight. I think those look better anyway. Um, snapshots are, I don't wanna say lucky, but like it's not as skillful, I think, as getting onto somebody's six and uh, lighting them up like that. So I'm glad that TAC did that as well just shows real skill you know you got to work to get on the six and then you get your kill uh, so here we go he's gonna turn off we're just looping around each other and uh, he's pretty much low and slow with me on the deck which is kind of where the Hornet wants to be I put flaps out in this fight I believe um, give me a little bit of low speed maneuverability because I knew this was gonna come down to a really tight and slow turning fight um, I'm not really sure if that helped if I'm being honest but I tried it I don't usually in the Hornet. Um, and here we go, we're just sitting on a six here. He's not pulling, he's got a lot of speed too. You can see here, like he should have pulled vertical in this situation. But uh, like I said, I think he's just goofing off a little bit, feeling a little too confident in that F-22. And uh, I'm gonna pull across the front and just get the kill. All right guys, so that's gonna be the first tack view. Let's go ahead and look at the second one real quick. Okay, so here we go with uh, the round two fight. Once again, tacking the, the red, me and the blue. Uh, he's gonna do a couple of flares here, maybe just a test. Um, we're gonna go into the, the two circle. And I think we're both just doing the same thing, just turning into each other, pulling each other down. Um, he again has that snapshot opportunity, but uh, as he comes across the front, He's doing the honorable thing and uh, not firing as he crosses. I feel like I am in kind of a disadvantage here, so I just gave him a couple. I mostly just did this. I didn't expect it to hit him, but I just wanted to spray a couple just to keep him out of, you know, crossing across me and lighting me up. So I put out a few rounds just to deter him from that, make him do some evasive maneuvers so we could merge for a second time. And what happens is I hit him. I hit him once or twice, I think and uh, really busted his left engine. Um, it was flaming out and everything, but didn't seem to affect the F-22 at all. Um, it just pissed him off. And uh, <laughs> he just comes vertical, it just lights me up, and I'm low on speed at that point. I thought I maybe got the fight and it was over. I just seen him smoking going down. And uh, yeah, he just comes up, decent speed, truer speed of 291 having climbed for a little bit here and I'm just way slow not paying attention and he's gonna get that kill and uh, that was a pilot kill as well before he did that before he actually destroyed the plane one of those um, 20 millimeter rounds hit my pilot right in the face so all right that's the second fight let's do the third one real quick all right guys here we go third fight got the merge I think in this fight tack has had just about enough of the bullshit and uh, he's actually trying he's got the stick to the dick and uh, he's pulling back he's pulling hard g's here pulling on my six i don't want to say i'm matching the turn because i'm definitely not but it doesn't feel like the f-14 did when i took on the uh 22 so it, it feels a little better but still not up to f-22 level um uh, so here we go he hits his first snapshot across as he crosses and uh it it looks like the bullets just zoom right around me and kind of under me so I get away with that and he's gonna go over the top 
and uh, we're going to turn into each other again. Uh, you can see his true airspeed at a uh, 570-ish, mine at 522-ish, but uh, he's still out turning me. And as he, as he whips around on my back here, I realize that there isn't really a whole lot I can do. I want to keep my energy high, um, which seems counterintuitive, but I'm really just doing it because I don't want to be slow. Um, and I'm realizing that because of that, he's out turning me. He's a little bit slower and uh, better maneuverability. So it's it's slowing me down just a little. I mean, it's it's uh, making my turn a little bit harder. And But I think that that energy state is one of the only reasons why he doesn't get a kill here as he crosses. There's not enough of a reaction time. Uh, but then I make the mistake of cutting the throttle and trying to tighten that turn up a little bit. And I guess it's not a mistake. Like, what else can you, could you have done in this situation? Maybe gone vertical, but he would have just followed that. Um, but anyway, so I, I cut the throttle and I'm trying to pull my nose around and uh, he catches me low and slow and it's a very bad move to do if the guy's already pretty much on your six which is the situation that I was in and then there you go, that's the kill. So that was uh, a lot of mistakes on my part and some good flying on tax part so um, that's what happens when the F-22 is done messing around. All right. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching. That's gonna be the third tack view of the day um, and uh, we'll do another video soon. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.